investors. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today because I had a great day today uh, trading, swing trading, and all that other fun stuff here. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to benefit from a stock crash. You know, this is going to be kind of a podcast video. So if you guys want to just flip me over and, you know, don't look at me, it's all good. You know, I don't really care, but this, this is very valuable information here. So I would Highly recommend staying on. And if you guys enjoy my videos, please sure to subscribe. You know, do do all that fun stuff here. Like it. All right, so let's dive into this video. We're going to be talking about how to benefit from a stock market or any market crash here. And this is a very, very valuable. So the first thing is you guys have to save your money. Now, this is going to be before this crash happens. You guys should be piling cash in. And I'm not saying to not invest it into your, you know, IRA or your 401k. I'm just saying to take some money aside for that crash because, whoa, because you know it's happening. It happens around every eight years and we are very, very over, overextended here with it. People thought it was going to be this year, but it obviously didn't. So now people are like, okay, well, it didn't happen this year. Well, what's going to happen this next year? You know, we are still on a bull or yeah, on a bull market, uh, now we're going on nine years or 10 years, you know, something like that is very, very unlikely. It's the longest bull market in history. And now people are getting a little worried uh, because it's just very overextended and they're nervous that it's going to just crash like crazy in January. Well, if you do these techniques that I'm going to be talking about, you guys can really, really make some money. All right. So the first thing you guys got to do, like I said, is save, 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 you know, certain percentage every single month and just put it into a savings. Now, this savings is going to be saving to invest your money and you shouldn't spend this money on anything, really. This is going to be a savings for investing, savings for buying stocks, real estate or anything like that, because it, in, two, in you know, 2008, stocks hit rock bottom. And then bounced. That's what happens to good companies, is they bounce. The bad companies, you know, filter out and go out of business. But even you know, very bad, bad companies still bounce. But the weak, 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 weak companies are the ones that you know kind of you know filter out and kind of go under business, which isn't good. But you know, most of those companies you want to be investing to begin with. So, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so this is going to be step two. Now, this is going to be buying when things hit rock bottom. When the market's bad, you guys should be buying. All that money you saved up, this is when you say, okay, I'm going to buy 10 shares of Apple because they're trading at 100 bucks. Okay, and that is crazy. Apple's trading at over $200. And yes, it could have a pullback to around $100 within, you know, who knows. But when the market takes a downturn, these large cap stocks follow, follow that market and they will start to decline in value. So you always got to be careful of that. Amazon, another prime example, Amazon falls to $1,000, buy a share, buy two shares. Depending on how much you saved, you should be really, really, really buying these big companies. So this is kind of step two, like I, I kind of already got into it, but this is going to be like buying when the market's bad because, you know, everything bounces. You know, you could buy a stock today at a dollar, falls to 50 cents, bounces to $2 the following day. That's going to be a very, very similar thing that we're going to be doing, but it's going to be uh, over a longer period of time. And it's not going to be as risky because it's going to be a long-term investment. So if that stock takes a little bit to climb back up, that's not a big deal. And if it falls, you know, every in investor knows that a stock's going to fall one day or have a bad week, that's normal. You guys have to understand that before you invest your money. So as you buy these big stocks and things, this is you should be buying blue chip stocks, it's kind of large cap. Now these stocks are often worth billions of dollars. So these are companies like Facebook, Google, Amazon, Apple, You know, companies that are well known. If you have an iPhone, buy an Apple stock. When the, why not? Because it's cheaper, don't buy an iPhone. Save your money and then buy Apple stock. It will literally make you money. If you want to be rich, this is how to do it. All right. So 
Now, as the market starts to recover, now this is kind of getting in step three. Now, this is sell your stuff. It's simple, but people have a very hard time doing it, <clears throat> man, because they see they have so much wealth. They, why would you want to sell it, you know? So you can sell half. Try to get your re, re uh, the investment you put in. Get that back so now you have that money saved and reinvest that into something because everything's going to pull back and go up. Everything's going to go pull back and go down a little bit, then pull up. Majority of you know stocks and bonds and real estate go up. So put your money in also real estate because as long as people want houses or anything like that, they're going to have real estate. Put your money in there. You guys will be fine. Just save your money, invest it, sell it. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. <laughs> Man, I can't even talk right now. I'm like, my throat is so dry. All right, so that's it. Though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to benefit from a market crash. Please sure to like, subscribe if you're new, comment if you're ready for it. Peace out, everyone. Come on,